How's it going guys, and welcome back to another CSS battle. This is a web dev junkie video, and my name is Batman. So, if you're interested in learning how to build out this bat symbol, definitely subscribe and stick around, because we're going to start in 3, 2, 1. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of these comments down here because we don't like comments. Secondly, let's change this background color to something more appropriate. That looks sick. All right, now, in order to make this Batman symbol, I think we could start with the giant rectangle that has this color, okay? And we should probably center it on the screen. I hope you like my Batman voice. I haven't been practicing it that long. So I'm gonna do display flex on the body and justify content center and align items center and we're good to go. Now let's make the width 200 and see if that's good. That's a little too small, so let's try 220. Does that look good? No, I think it's still too small. 230. No, that's too small. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right, I think this is too big now, so we need to make it a little bit smaller. We could give it a width of 80, and then maybe move it up some. So, I don't know, maybe we could do the arch and bottom of 10 pixels. I don't know if that'll actually move it up. It does. Okay. That looks good, kind of. What do you think? Where is she? Where's the bat? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so we want to add a class to this called body uh bat body yeah there we go and we could change this to be called bat body and we're good to go so what i want to start with is maybe we can do like the wings you see the cutouts in the wings it should be pretty easy to do i think it's just a bunch of circles that are positioned in a particular way so let's go ahead and add some new divs called uh wing one or something okay now this is going to be a circle or something like that uh, position like right here and I think it needs to cut out the box so let's do a uh, position of absolute and then we could also do border radius of 50% uh, background color of black like the Batman and then we could do left of 50 pixels top of 50 pixels uh, I don't know where it is I didn't give it a width or height, so maybe we should do that. Let's add a width and a height. Uh, there we go. We got a little black thing. Okay, so it actually needs to be the color of this. Oh, no. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? All right, there it is. All right, so let's try to position this thing down a little bit until we get it in the perfect spot. Oh, that looks pretty bad. All right, let's go. Let's move it up some. I think that looks a little bit better. We need to move it to the left. Is that anywhere close to what we want? No, probably not. This challenge is going to be real tough, I think. Oh, wow, that actually looks pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and make a wing number two. Let's keep doing the same approach until we get it perfect. Like Batman. So this one, I think, needs to be probably moved over 50 pixels. Okay, 40 pixels. Okay, 80 pixels or something. Uh, and then we should probably move it. No, 100 pixels. Yeah, that looks good. And let's move it down some. Uh, let's give it 200. Oh no, that was too big. Uh, 150. That's too. Uh, I think my circle's too small, so let's make it bigger. Does that look better? I don't know. This is gonna be a really hard challenge to do. I'll tell you that. Let's move it to the left a little bit. That kind of looks good, but not really. That looks pretty good. I'm not gonna waste too much time making this perfect because I'm already perfect. I'm the Batman. So let's move on to wing number three. All right, wing number three, let's go over here and let's go ahead and make another class to style that one. And this one's gonna be really similar to the one we just did, but let's just move it over a little bit. So I'm gonna add hundred pixels and see if that's good. It's not good. So let's go ahead and add uh, some more. 
that kind of looks good but not really so let's add some more width to it and let's move it back over that's not good either uh You know what? Uh, let's, 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 let's. I don't know what to do here. So let me just keep on moving stuff around until it looks good. I think that looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but whatever. Let's move on to wing number three, which is going to be kind of like wing number one, but not really. <clears throat> let me clear my throat. Ugh, my bad. My voice is uh, starting to hurt my, my voice. All right. So for wing number one, I mean, wing number four. What we could do is just copy wing number one and move it over like a ton. Uh, a ton more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think it needs to be over another 10 pixels. Nice, that looks sick. All right, now we need to cut out the top of the bat. You know, like the shoulders and stuff. So let's call that shoulders. And let's go ahead and make another style called shoulders here. And we can make that a little bit higher than everything else and probably more centered. So let's go ahead and do that. In fact, we can get rid of left because it's going to make it centered anyway. Let's just move it up. And for the border radius, we actually just want border bottom left radius of 20 pixels. And then same thing for border bottom right radius. Does that look too big? I think it's too big. Let's do 10 pixels. Okay, that looks pretty great. Let's move it up some more until we get it where we need, where we want it. Okay, that looks awesome, but I think it's a little too big. That looks perfect. Okay, now for the last two parts, or three parts. We have to build out a head, and we got to build out two little ears. So let's do the head first. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make a head. Uh... And it needs to be positioned with a color of, or it needs to have a background color of this. And it needs to be smaller. So let's make it smaller. And we could just put top of 100 pixels. I don't think we need any border bottom or anything because we're going to put the little ears over it. So let's keep moving it down some until it's perfect. Oh, that looks so awesome. All right, so let's do the ears now. We're almost done. I'm going to make an ear one. And then I'm going to go over here and copy this for ear one. And we need to make this a circle so I can say border radius 50%. And we could just go ahead and uh, move that somewhere. Uh, move it over here. That looks that looks good. Let's put it down some. Five pixels. And let's move it to the left a little bit. By 100 pixels. Okay, okay. By 200 pixels. That's too much. 190. 180, 195, 185. Oh no, it's too much. Does that look good? That looks real good. All right, so let's do the last part. We're almost done. Ear number two. Let's go ahead and add the ear number two. Okay. Uh, and then we go down here and we need to just move it over to the left a little bit. So I'll add, I'll add 20 pixels. Nice. All right, that is how you build the bat symbol in CSS Battle, okay? If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you like my Batman voice, then give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give me a thumbs up anyway, because my voice is gonna hurt after this. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to have some fun, y'all. I hope you like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and if you wanna see other uh, CSS battles like this be sure to just let me know and we can just go ahead and work on them together let me go ahead and let me go ahead and submit this and see what we get back 99.9% .9 match just like my DNA is matching with a Batman's DNA I am undefeated have a good one y'all happy coding <laughs>